guys Katrina here this ever with you. I'm out with Max at the minute. There he is there. I uh, just wanted to show you this uh, cool sticker that I bought for my uh, wheelchair. Now I hope it stays on. Uh, uh, I hope it stays on if it gets if it gets wet like but it should do. If you want one uh, please click on the link below. This is the sticker that I bought for myself that I showed you earlier on the back of my wheelchair. It is a square sticker. It says in black writing, ehlers Danlos Syndrome, Fight Like a Zebra, along with a, a zebra print ribbon but on the left hand side of it. If you want this sticker, please click the link below. I'm in my local little supermarket here and I came across this. It's very good to see stores doing things like this for people with disabilities. I wish more places would do it. I think it's absolutely brilliant that large uh, companies like Little as you've seen before, are doing things like this. But the thing is, we need more businesses and more large retail companies to do this. Now, as you know, I have a form of autism called Asperger's Syndrome. I was diagnosed at the age of three, but uh, when I was growing up, they didn't have things like this and, and which made school going out do basic things like shopping or or that really really stressful because there was often music and noise and stuff like that and that, for some people with autism loud noise can be really uh, painful even. Uh, but it's really brilliant for them to do start doing things like this and plus for other disabled people as well with other conditions such as uh, my Ehlers-Danlos syndrome and it also it makes it more suitable for them as well uh, because there's the shops are often less crowded when this when uh, Companies have these uh, accessible hours, as I call them. Uh, being a wheelchair user, I find it difficult to get around in a shop that's pretty packed. I know it's difficult for able-bodied people to get around when it's packed, like, but it's it's even more so difficult when you have people trying to shove you out of the way and stuff like that, and then people try and to reach over your head and pull stuff off the shelves and then you could get hit in the process by the by the item that they're trying to get. Uh, I've once had a, a guy uh, practically fall on my lap on in the middle of a supermarket and now he was he was really embarrassed and he apologized like but he, it still shouldn't have happened. But uh uh, I'd still like to see more retail companies get into this and more independent shops as well. If you have a, your own business or you're self-employed, please consider making uh, an accessible R, as I call it, because it, it will increase your amount of customers that you get. Anyway. Uh, I hope you all like the sticker that I bought. Uh, I found it online. I'll put a again. I'll put a link down below for uh, if you want to order it, or I'll put one up here if they allow me to. Uh, I don't hide my disability away. Why should I? 
Uh, so, um, as I am say, I'm out and proud with my disability. I always was. But, uh, anyway, apologies for my last video. I forgot to uh, publish the, uh, the closed captions or subtitles until the day after. Which is really stupid. It's called a brain fog. But, uh, anyway. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.